Hey, Cubbies, Cubby Bear and Katie Collie, they had a lot of fun today, but Cubby Bear disobeyed. He didn't listen to Katie Collie and he got bit on the nose by the bee. Oh, that must have hurt. You know, Katie loves Cubby Bear so much he wanted to protect Cubby Bear. And we have parents. People love you and they want to protect you. The parents do, your leaders do, and God wants to protect you. That's why there are rules, rules in the Bible. I know grandparents love you too. You know, even policemen love you and they make rules to keep us safe. I know someone who loves you even more than your parents, your grandparents, your brothers and sisters, and that's Jesus. There's a Bible verse in uh, our special book, John 3, 16, that says, God loved us so much, loved the world so much that he sent Jesus. That's what our story is about today. Let's learn some more from our special book, the Bible. I hope you all have one at home and you read it with your moms and dads. Romans 3.23, that's our memory Bible verse today. It is, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. That's Romans 5.8, sorry. Romans 3.23 is the one we did last week, all have sinned. Okay? We're doing C is for Christ. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us today. Romans 5, 8. All right. Last week we learned A is for all. All have sinned. Let's all say it. Everybody together. A is for all. All have sinned. Romans 3, 23. Remember, sin is anything you think, say, or do that disobeys God. Because we have all sinned, we've all done these things, we deserve to be punished by God. Being punished is when you get into big, big trouble because of the bad things you've done. And the punishment for sin is death. But God loves us. He didn't want us to die, completely die, and never see him again. So he chose to do something for us because of our sin. So one day when the time was just right, God sent Jesus. Jesus, his very own son, into the world. He was going to save us by dying on the cross and being punished for us. When you see this picture, I bet you think about Christmas. Yes, because Jesus came as a tiny, tiny baby. He didn't have a warm bed, a soft bed. He didn't even have cuddly blankets. Look, he's in a manger. And a manger is a place usually filled with a hay for the animals to eat. You know, you were once a tiny baby like Jesus too. You grew, 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 and so did Jesus. Jesus grew to be a boy. He was a perfect little boy. He was always obedient to his parents. This picture shows Jesus in the temple. He loved to go to the temple. He was in the temple where they worship God, and there's lots of teachers of God's law in there called Sadducees and Pharisees. Well, look at them. They are amazed that Jesus knew so much about God. They didn't have to teach him about God because he was God's son and he remembered everything about his father God in heaven. They were surprised. Remember, Jesus is very special. He is God's son. That means that Jesus never, never, ever sinned. He never disobeyed his parents. 
He never fought with his brothers. He was always, always a perfect boy. Okay. Well, Jesus surprised them and he continued to surprise them because he was perfect and knew so much about God. We know that Jesus grew up to be a man, a perfect man, and he showed love to all people. He loved the oldest people, the grandmas and grandpas, and the mothers and fathers, all the way down to the children and the babies, the tiniest babies. Jesus was happy to have little children near them. He loves them so very much. Now, many people loved Jesus, but some men did not like Jesus at all. They did not believe that Jesus was God's son. These men heard Jesus and nailed him to a cross. We know that Jesus is God's son. He can do miracles. He could have stopped the men, but he didn't. Jesus chose to die on the cross for your sins. He is Jesus Christ. He is perfect. He took our punishments, the punishments for all of us, everybody that was born before him and everybody that was born after him. He took our punishment of death so we wouldn't have to be punished for our sins. Now, we know that Jesus didn't stay dead. The bad people wrapped him up in cloths and put him in a tomb, which is a big rock in the side of a, a mountain or something. He was laid in a tomb, dead, and so they put soldiers to guard him. Three days, can we count to three? One, two, three. He came alive. He spent three days in the tomb. He came out alive. Now, that's our happy news. We know that God sent the Savior. We know the Savior is Jesus Christ. We know he died and took our punishment for our sins, the whole world's sins, and he came alive. Because he's God. He's perfect. He can do miracles. The angels rolled the stone away and Jesus came out. When the ladies came to the tomb, they saw the soldiers were fainted and the angel said, he's not here. He is risen. They praised God and told everyone. Then Jesus appeared to his other friends, the disciples and he showed them his wounds, and they praised God. They were so happy that Jesus was alive. They praised God. They went out and told everyone, Jesus is alive. Soon, it was time for Jesus to go back to his Father in heaven. Many, many people saw Jesus return to heaven just a miracle. He raised up into the sky and disappeared in the clouds. Before Jesus went up to heaven, he told his friends that he would come back, come back one day to take all of us to heaven. The graves will open up and all the people who believed in Jesus will rise up to heaven. All of us who are still alive will rise up in the clouds to join him. Those who trust Jesus as their Savior, who believe he died on the cross for their sins and came alive again, can one day live in heaven. 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 A wonderful place. Heaven will be happy, safe, and more fun than you can even imagine kind of place. We will love and serve Jesus, God, there forever. Cubbies, we've learned a lot about Jesus today, and I want you to pray with me as we finish and ask your parents, if you're at home, any questions that you have about the lesson, 
And after the video turns off, y'all who are here in person will be able to ask me. Okay? Remember when we pray and talk to God, we bow our heads, we close our eyes, we put our hands together. Okay, y'all pray after me. Dear Father God, we thank you for all you've done. We thank you for the big, beautiful world you made. We thank you for loving us and sending your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you that Jesus died, died for my sins and the whole world's sins. We know he could have come off that cross, but he chose to die. Thank you. We know, Jesus, you are our Savior. We thank you for dying even while I was still a sinner. Thank you, you're coming back for us. And thank you, if I trust you, I can go to live with you in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen.